All right, so finishing the day with a really nice sunset. And also I think the wind is going to accelerate near the coast. You can see <coughs> over there the white crest of the waves and the little hobby cats playing in it. That's good! So yeah, I'm uh, I'm staying ready because I think soon the, the wind is going to accelerate us as uh, past the Cape, and uh, the Bahia I'm planning to uh, stop for the night is behind this uh, lighthouse over there. That's what I'm talking about. Spinnaker ride at sunset. Look at this. Nice speed. Just have to stay careful. Opa. I was about to um, take down the spinnaker, so I first uh, wanted to uh, retrieve the, the fishing line because I have been fishing all. Uh, having the line behind all day and not catching anything and I was like putting up the line look at this it looks like a barracuda but the pattern is not what I'm used to but uh, I don't know let's see because I've been fish fishing for the last two days I had lots of fish let's see if I can sell it to a restaurant maybe or offer it to someone to some neighbors maybe at the anchorage let's see So behind me is the southern tip of um, Fuerteventura. So I left this morning at 7.30 from the, the anchorage I was. And uh, now I'm sailing to Gran Canaria. So it's uh, about like 60 miles. So I should be there uh, tonight. Let's see, let's see at what time in, uh, in the evening. So yeah, a little bit of crossing. The, the wind is known to be uh, channeled um, between the islands so I should have like quite some gusts of wind but uh, so far I have the spinnaker on trying to you know make some way let's see how this goes uh, staying like focused not to not to break everything all right so after a day of a bit of a bumpy ride this is Canaria Las Palmas so yeah, almost arrived. Oh look, a dolphin! Just jumped. So he's all shy now. Not jumping anymore. Arriving in uh, Las Palmas, I have a few stuffs to um, to do here. I'm also meeting a friend, a skipper who lives there. So it's going to be cool and. Uh, I try to explore a bit the island, but uh, also I don't want to say too much because I want to uh, cross the, uh, start the crossing early February and um, I still have Tenerife, La Gomera and a few other islands to, um, to discover. So yeah, maybe a week here maximum, I hope, in, uh, in uh, Gran Canaria and after leaving for the other islands. in Las Palmas uh, yesterday afternoon and um, I'm in the marina which is always really good and really bad um, it's good because like it's been like almost two weeks now that I'm uh, going from one anchorage to the other so it's you know little water and, and stuff but I really enjoy it 
uh, here in the marina there is uh, fresh water, there is showers, uh, warm showers and stuff, so that's nice. But also it means that I have to start um, going on all the projects that I've been postponing because it's not easy to work when you are at Anchorage. And now I have to uh, start working on this. The main project I have is to fix the, um, the pods that are um, holding the stanchion on the boat. I found um, a way to fix it with some uh, brackets and adapt the idea at the, at the beginning. So that's not too much of a big deal, but it's a bit of work now. I have to dismount all the, um, the lifelines on the, on the side. Um, grind uh, some of them, uh, do a little bit of uh, epoxy and put them uh, back in place and of course when you're working with the boat in the water there is al always the, the challenge of not having your tools falling in the water. One thing is that when you're working on a, such a small boat as soon as you start working the boat becomes a mess because... <laughs> try to sort a bit this mess so I can have a bed at least to sleep tonight and uh, we'll see after this. Alright, so um, I got the brackets, the final two brackets I needed from the workshop and now I'm going to mount them and it's more than time because the boat is a real mess. So as soon as I have these guys mounted, I can clean everything. After four days of boat work, fixing the stanchions mounting, servicing the engine, building some lazy drive for the mainsails and other smaller projects, Onale was ready to set sails again. I was supposed to leave to uh, Tenerife, but uh, the forecast is still like a bit strong. So I'm going to wait two more days here in uh, Las Palmas de Gran Canaria. And uh, a friend I met here is going to surf. So I'm going to give it a try and uh, go with him and try to surf. José, ¿cómo te salió? Hoy ha sido el mejor día de los dos. <laughs> Milo, uh -huh. how was it today? Perfect, perfect. Yeah? It was really nice. Nice waves. <laughs> really nice, nice waves. people. <laughs> but uh, yeah, next time maybe I'm just going to take a wave too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Okay, vamos con José a ver el partido más importante. Bueno, el partido, las sí, palmas contra el Valencia. partido para él. Bueno, Valenciano yo, viviendo en Las Palmas. Yo para, para Las Palmas, claro. <laughs> pío, pío. Eso, vamos. Eso es como se anima aquí. While waiting for a better weather window to leave Gran Canarias, José would offer me to join one of Canarias' vibrant cultural tradition, soccer. And even if I'm not a big fan of soccer on a regular basis, Joining a group of Spanish friends on their way to a soccer game is a must-do. Feliz. 
So here I am on a nice beam ridge. I left uh, Las Palmas this morning and um, I'm going to La Palma. So I left uh, Las Palmas, which is the capital of Gran Canaria, to go to Las Palmas, which is a smaller island on the west of the archipelago. Uh, it's about 140 miles, so I should be there tomorrow during the day. All right, so I'm arriving in La Palma. Um, so this is Santa Cruz de La Palma, the biggest city on the island. I'm going to uh, get the boat to the marina because there is lots of swell. Alright guys, I hope you like this episode. Stay tuned for the next one where I have some friends visiting me and we take some time to explore the island and do lots of fancy stuff on this piece of rock. Okay, vamos. Okay, okay. <laughs>